Hey, what's happening? Leech Drawn84 here, and I am playing the Halo Reach multiplayer beta. Um, this is a co-op game. I'm on the top. My friend David's on the bottom. Um, he's also a part of our Gaming Generation channel. Um, if you haven't checked it out yet, go ahead and go check it out. And, um, yeah, a couple of channel updates real quick, and then I'll go into the gameplay. Um, I won't be making a video in a while, I, I apologize, there's going to be a little break in my uh, schedule, and um, all my memory for the campaign and spec ops of Modern Warfare got erased, so I have to start that all over, and I'm going to do it on Veteran first, and um, it's going to, the, the videos are going to be postponed for a while. Since I was at my friend David's house, I didn't use the capture card, it's on the TV, so, um, with the camera. Also, the montage video, uh, that's going to come much later because my computer's editing software that I'm using right now is not working that well. So, um, yeah. Alright, so now that the updates are over, um, let's get into the gameplay. So, I'm right up here. Um, you, I'm running using the, scout, uh, the marksman class. And one, two shots, beat down, beat down. One shot, beat down, beat down. And I get a double kill. Um, and that's the cool part about Invasion, um, as the game grad, uh, gets, as the game goes farther in, um, you get to get, choose different classes, which is a big feature of, uh, Halo Reach. You can actually choose your classes and everything now, so. Also, um, a lot of, uh, a lot of better, the graphics are much better, and, um, the weapon, a lot of the weapons are more powerful, for example, the, um, the pistol has a much faster fire rate, and it's just about as powerful as the DMR, only it's less accurate. And the DMR, I'd say, is more powerful than the BR, because the BR is a three-round burst, and each burst is the same damage as one bullet from the DMR, so technically, like, each bullet for the BR is cut into one-third. Um, the assault rifle, it only works well when the person's, like, two feet in front of you, because, um... Because they, they, like, it, it, the, the um, accuracy went down a lot for the um, assault rifle. And I'll talk a little bit about the new weapons. Um, DMR is the new BR. Um, the needle rifle, which I don't think I picked up. I think my friend David picked it up. I'm not really sure. Um, it's the new, cov it's like the Covenant DMR. It's like um, a mixture between a carbine and a needler. And if you get someone's shields down, um, you can, uh, you can just, uh, you, um, it, they crock explode. They crock explode like, as if you were shooting a needler at them. Um, but the fire rate, it, it's automatic, but, like, the fire rate's decently slow. Um, here, as you can see, we're playing on Invasion, and, um, we're on the Spartan side, so they have a little advantage because they're what I like their weapons a little bit better. Um, and the other new weapon is the focus rifle, which is um like um uh, like uh what do you call it? Centric beams and um what's that? Oh, uh, uh, and the beam rifle, the sniper rifle for the Covenant. It's like those two put together. Um, because you can zoom actually zoom in and everything on it, so it's pretty cool. Um, and that's based, um, let me think, uh, let's see, so I'm oh yeah, the, um, plasma grenade launcher is another new weapon, it's like, um, it's sort of like a Spartan laser grenade launcher sort of thing going on, it, um, you charge, you, basically you charge this, um, weapon, and, um, what happens is, uh, depending on how long you charge it for, um, it fires up to four, plasma grenades that are actually heat seeking so they stick to your target even if you're not even looking at them um another and another new weapon is the oh man hang on I'm think oh yeah the grenade launcher which is like the um the spartan version of the plasma grenade launcher um it's like a noob tube sort of and uh it's it's really it's really good if you're trying to get grenade kills and everything. So yeah. Now that um I've given talked about the weapons, uh talk a little bit more about 
the actual loadouts. You can select your loadouts. And um, you, there's four different abilities you can choose from. There's Sprint for the Scout class. Um, there's the Shield for the um, the Guard class. They project the Shield. Oh, um, man. It's, it can save you in a tight situation. Like if you have a sticky grenade stuck to you. Oh, right there. If you look at the top screen, that's the Needle Rifle. rifle. Um, but, um, yeah, the Guard, if you like get stuck with the sticky grenade um all you have to do is go guard and the sticky grenade will just fly stay off of you it's pretty cool and um it's really good for strategic thing um then there's like i said the sprint class that i'm using right now um it's really good when you want to beat someone down because all you have to do is punch them and then run to them again and punch them again and then you're done uh, another one is the invis. It's um, it's like active camo, um, and it um, it makes you invisible, and but it like you can't hear anything, and it scrambles your radar and your enemy's radar. So um, yeah, they'll know you. There's someone invisible next to them, but it's really good when you're trying to just like, if you see like a red dot come on your motion sensor on the bottom left, you could just go invis and sneak up behind them and that also the new assassinations oh my gosh um if you hold the melee button right behind a person it, you, you get this cool animation of an assassination um if you look at david's screen right now on the bottom there um he's uh he's got the shoddy out because he's um um because uh he we're that far into the game where the uh, Covenant actually got to the fusion coil thing and um yeah so like you get more loadouts as the game progresses for invasion and um right here this kid if you look at the top screen I got a bull true there that was pretty cool um and um yeah everything and the last thing you could do is jetpack um you go airborne and you can fly around it's great for capture the, well you can like if you want to get from one place to another um just to capture something it's really good and but you can't use it when you're holding an item and that's that I should have punched him that that, I, that was my bad but like as you can see you you got four different loadouts as the game gets this far in so yeah, this game I would give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's a beta, not a demo. Remember that. And um, they really need your feedback. They need your help and your feedback. And um, the controls are also different in this game, but you can change them so it's just like Halo 3. And you know how in Halo 3 they had like equipment, like um, power drain and like um over shield they don't have that anymore they give you the loadouts and your abilities and everything so so yeah once again i'm not gonna be making a video for a while now um ha i got wrecked there so now i'll just i'll just talk about some strategies and everything oh and also if you look at the vehicles they're really nice and detailed and um right here i can Oh, this room in here, I'm, I'm playing on Boneyard right now, and um, it's one of the biggest um, maps for Halo 3 ever created. And um, the pistol, as you can see, it's really beast. A beast pistol. It's really beast. And uh, I pull out the grenade launcher right here. Now you can take a look at the grenade launcher. Um, it's like a noob tube without a gun, so like you just fire nades, and um, if you direct impact someone, they'll blow up. This kid right here, oh, got him, got him. Um, yeah, so um, I, ch I changed back to the shoddy. And um, if you look at the Banshee, um, the Banshee is so beast. Like, it's like uh, the wings are all different, it's really nice. And um, there's a bunch of different metals you can get. Um, for this for this um, gameplay, and um, basically this game is like Halo Three and every single good game ever created on steroids. So um, yeah, hope you like my uh, my gameplay video.
Um, this has been Leechron84, and um, I, I will see you in my next video, and remember, I'm probably not going to make one in a while. So um, enjoy this last 20 seconds of this video, and um, if you haven't gotten ODSP, pick it up, because it's worth it. That's like the only reason I got Halo ODSP, was to buy this game. So um, rate, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.